this video, I'm just going to show you how to turn mixed numbers that look like this into improper fractions, which look like this. So the number on top is bigger than the one underneath and also the other way around. Sometimes you'll need to be able to do that when you're doing your fraction calculations. So if you're multiplying or dividing, you'll need to turn the mixed number into improper fractions. Or sometimes at the end of an exam question, they'll just ask you to leave your final answer as a mixed number. So you need to know how to put it into this form. So let's look at the first few examples. So to find the improper fraction, the denominator part is simple. You just leave the denominator the same. So 3 and 3. To find the numerator, you have to multiply this big number here, 2, by the denominator and then plus this one up here. So you're doing the big number multiplied by the denominator plus the numerator. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus the 1 gives me 7. So that's the first example. Now on the next one, remember the denominator stays the same. Now to find the numerator, you multiply this big number by the denominator 5 and then you need to plus the numerator here which is 4. So 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 plus the 4 gives me 19. And for the last one, so again the denominator stays the same and then for the numerator you multiply this big number by the denominator which is 3 and then you plus the numerator which is 2. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus the 2 gives me 14. Okay, so that's mixed numbers into improper top heavy fractions. Now, the other way around. So the first question you have to ask yourself is how many times does 2 fit exactly into 7? Well, it fits in exactly 3 times, but I have a remainder. There's something left over. 3 lots of 2 is 6, but our numerator is 7. So I have a remainder of 1. Now, just like in those examples, the denominator is the same. Okay, so if this is 2, so is this one. So just to repeat, to find this number, how many times does 2 fit into 7? It fits in 3 times. And because 3 times 2 is 6 and we have 7, there's a remainder of 1. Okay, now the next, the next example here. How many times does 5 fit exactly into 13? It fits in 2 times, and 2 times 5 is 10. So I have a remainder of 3. And the denominator stays the same. And the last one. How many times does 10 fit exactly into 39? It fits in 3 times. And 3 times 10 is 30. However, we've got 39, so there's a remainder of 9 and the denominator stays the same. Okay, so there you go.